Up was when I think it was Brianna. I think she pulled the lipstick out, the long hair out of the lipstick, and I was like, Ugh, that's not as good. Okay. Over time, after I started seeing like shards of plastic, the long hairs, the black hairs, okay, this is now not just a fluke thing. Like, this is contamination. I had with this lab that I was at on June 6, 26. I saw Jacqueline there. This is unprofessional for the lab reps part. It was like, oh yeah, we're working on Jacqueline's lipsticks. I had let Jacqueline know. I was like, look, I've had issues with these concealers. I know you were at this lab or whatever, or if, you know, I don't know who's doing your lipsticks, honestly, but don't work with this lab because I had a really shitty problem with it. So the whole Jacqueline cosmetic scandal could have been solved with one problem or with one solution. Jacqueline was forewarned by Marlena, <coughs> a makeup geek, who warned her about the lab she was using because Marlena came up with issues with her concealers. So, why didn't Jacqueline listen? She was told by a professional CEO that the company was shitty and that they were no good. But Jacqueline went ahead and went with the lab anyway. This problem could have been solved way before it launched. Why wouldn't you listen to your so-called friend? who gave you advice on the lab you were using. You wouldn't have to take a mental break or deactivate your account if you would have listened to a close someone you call a friend. 